Nearly 2 billion people fought in World War II, a little less than a third of the modern world population. No matter which side they fought on, every single one of those people had a story. Today, we'll be looking at one such story, about an extraordinary man who fought in the war on the side of the Allied Powers. His name was Charlie Shelford. Shelford was of Maori descent, born in New Zealand in August of 1920. His father died in 1932, and because his mother wasn't a reliable parent, he was raised by the community. In 1939, not long after the outbreak of the war, Shelford enlisted with the 28th Battalion. Shelford wasn't exactly a model soldier, army life didn't really suit him, and he was considered ill-disciplined by his superior officers. As a result, he was left behind in detention when his unit was deployed overseas. He eventually completed his training, received the rank of private, and was shipped off to Egypt to serve in the Allied campaign in Northern Africa. He continued his insubordination there, and constantly got in hot water for drunkenness and his aggressive tendencies. Such tendencies, however, served him well on the battlefield. In December of 1941, his battalion was deployed against an Italian unit in Gazala, Libya. His section pushed ahead for 300 yards, only to realise that they were isolated and vulnerable. Shelford heroically cut through for 300 more yards toward the Italian position, facing heavy fire from anti-tank weapons and machine guns. He made it within 20 yards of the enemy position when he was brought down by grenades. Despite this, however, he managed to throw a grenade of his own into the enemy trench, prompting the surrender of the Italian commander. Shelford was recommended for the Victorian Cross for his actions, though he ended up receiving the DMC instead. Despite his newfound recognition as a hero, Shelford continued to be disruptive, and constantly went AWOL during quiet periods to infiltrate German lines and raid their weapons supplies. He built up a sizable cache of stolen weapons and sold them on the Egyptian black market, and also gave out pistols to New Zealand non-combatants. Shelford served until his return home in October of 1944, and was discharged in February of 1945. He got married shortly after and went on to start a family of eight children in Auckland, New Zealand, where he worked as a drain layer. His antics continued, however, resulting in his death in 1984, which occurred when he was run over while drunk. It's also noted that his wife died several years earlier. So that's the story of Charlie Shelford, a remarkable man who lived an interesting life. He was by no means perfect, as his record shows, but despite his drunken antics and insubordination, the man was a combat hero that saved numerous lives, and should be remembered as such. Once again guys, if you like the channel and support the kind of content we make, even a negligible amount of money to the Patreon really helps out with production quality, production quantity, and just all round production value. As I stated before, our channel is completely blacklisted so we get no revenue from YouTube whatsoever. So really our only support line comes directly from you and every Patreon greatly increases our morale as well. So with your help and your interest in World War II, World War I and Vietnam War history, we can expand this channel and in the near future get even three videos a week with high production quality. So please do consider looking into our Patreon. Anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. And also, tell me if you want to see any other heroic stories as part of this video series.